If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey, welcome, my friends, to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. I'm Larry. I'm your host here in Fort Worth, Texas. And I am going to be reviewing the newest Coughlin Fountain Pen. And a special thank you to Frank from Federalist Pens for sending me this pen for review and to keep. But I will give an honest review what I like about the pen and what I don't like about the pen. Whoever sends me a pen, I always do the same thing. I'm going to tell you my personal feelings about the pen and try to lead you down that path because one can be unsure of what we like and don't like and is it right for me and is it worth the money? So those are a lot of important questions. So let's look at the pen. All right, this is the Conklin All-American Golden Walnut. Comes in this sleeve like this. And on the side is the pen. On this side is the pen again. On the bottom of the box, nothing. And on the side of the box, it does say it's Conklin. Number 0108 of 1898. So it means only 18... 98 of these pins were made 1898 pins were made and that's going to be it and this is a uh, walnut gun metal and this has a stub nib in it so let's take the pin case out of the sleeve i will wonder for the rest of my life why didn't they just add two more and make it 1900 wow i don't have no idea that's a good question huh you know i might uh Check with the office, see if they know the reason for it. Good question. Remind me, no. I have to hunt that down. And here it comes in their classic, beautiful pin case, leatherette, blue, white stitching around, Conklin logo. And for those who are interested, uh, establishing 18, what is that, 98? Huh? Well, that's so why that, they made that yep, number of pins then. I was, I was going to say. Yep, 1898. So that's why they, you're correct, that's why they made this number of pins. So I don't have to ask that question. It's self-explanatory, wouldn't you say? Yes, mystery solved. Yes, mystery solved! Yeah! La Calista Va! Va! Okay, calm down. Settle it down. Okay. I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> so let's open the pin case. Bam. Look at this. What's your first thoughts when you see this pen? Yep, mine too. And, and back of the pen case here inside, it comes with a details about the All-American Golden Walnut. Okay, and I'm going to let Mr. Announcer do the honors and read that because it's real important. It's a presentation about this pen. The All-American, an oversized hit from the Conklin Pen Company, is featuring a brand new exotic twist with real wood finish and rose gold or gunmetal trims. Conklin is proud to introduce the limited edition Golden Walnut, a sight to behold, let alone use, each pen displays its own unique wood grain. Walnut nut lumber is originated from Missouri, USA, and is exquisitely accented with warm rose gold or gunmetal trims along the rocker clip and threading, the grip section a polished black for a striking contrast of color throughout. Subtly engraved along the barrel is the Conklin trademark and all-American logo, while the back side of the cap 
displays a limited edition number exclusively for each pen. All fountain pens are outfitted with a smooth black Yovo nib displaying the brand name and marked with special crescent shaped breathing holes unique to Conklin only and is individually tested by quality control teams to ensure top quality extraordinary writing performance and a great customer experience. A limited edition run of 1898 pieces, the All-American Golden Walnut is available in fountain pen and, for the first time ever, a rollerball. Available choices for nib grades include extra fine, fine, medium, broad, stub, and omniflex, allowing users to choose one that complements their individual handwriting style. The fountain pen uses reliable international cartridges, a converter which is supplied, while the rollerball accepts standard refills. Each Conklin brand writing instrument is housed in a luxury gift box. Thank you, Ms. Ronald. So there you have it. So, and then Again, you see the Acogna logo inside the pen case in the back part right here. Okay, So let's get a real close-up look at this pen. Uh, quickly, are you able to explain the OmniFlex nib? I've not heard of that one. Oh, the OmniFlex nib is what has already been out before. Uh, let me see if I have that offhand. I should have one with me to show real quick. OmniFlex nib. Here it is. Here, here's the flex nib right here. Okay. And what is its purpose? Flexing. Flexing. Okay. For those people that like to flex, it'll, it it does provide some flexing. Uh, and I've done a video on that already on that nib. So here we go. So let's take the pin out and we're going to put it on the pin mat here. Pin mat was made by Kara Overman. Thank you, Kara. And we'll pull this out. And in the box, you'll find the Conklin card telling you about the Conklin pen and how to fill it. Uh, you want to keep all these safe in Yafa. If you have any problems, you can get a hold of them. It comes with two ink cartridges. I believe this is a, a black and a blue one. Yep. So that's that. So we're going to set this aside. Bam. So I will give you the full dimensions of the pen. I will do a pen comparison. I will do a writing sample. I'm going to break it all down for you from the tip to the end of the barrel. First of all, let's just start with this. One of my all favorites is the Conklin rocker arm for the clip. I just love that. And if we can get a real close up shot, you'll see Conklin engraved in there. Roll it this way just slightly. Yes. Okay. Now, right here is where not, Mr. Announcer just said you have the all, Conklin All-American. He says All-American here. And can you get a real good close look? Yes. And, okay. And then on the back of the cap, let's see if I can get some light on it. This is number 108 of 1,898 pins that are made worldwide, and it is it's a limited edition. First of all, when I first saw this pin on Frank's uh, store, I, I just fell in love. I am a big Conklin fan. I love their pens. Uh, I've been satisfied through the years with my purchases of Conklin pens. Stunning pens. And this comes to no surprise 
how this pen looks how the wood feels in your hand it's just really nice looking fountain pen that just feels nice to the touch I love that cigar shape pen I like that girthness to it it's a large pen but not overly large you know uh, I have a lot of small hands and it's still a nice fit in my hand let's unscrew the barrel one two rotations bam you're off and let's go down the barrel down the barrels a just a tiny bit step off that goes right where the threads are where the cap meets the barrel but there's nothing that's going to be uh, sharp that will uh, make it uh, annoying when you write and we'll go down to the grip section you have a mediocre kind of grip section it's not a large grip section but it's definitely not a small grip section but medium and I have small fingers so if you have large fingers I'm pretty sure it's going to accommodate those fingers plus if you tend to hold your pen up higher some people tend to hold their pen here and to be honest with you I find on occasions that I'm doing the same thing now let's go ahead and take the barrel off because we're going to break it down for you I want you to be totally informed about this pen it does come with a converter and let me look at something here for a minute if it has any writing on here if it does I do not see any let's take the converter out and remember this unscrews so when you put it in you want to make sure you screw it in don't try to pull it out because it has threads on the end of the converter that's going to really help this converter stay put it's not going to fall out I like that okay now let's go on down the grip at the bottom of the grip section there's another black ring there and here's the nib the feed and the black nib which is a number six Joe O nib now and it does have the engraving on the nib as well Cochran with the little smiley face Toledo USA And on the side of the nib, I don't know if you can see it or not, 1.1. That's the size of the nib. Now, what I like about these nibs is you can just twist them out. That's it. So, let's say if you wanted to try another nib, you can get a hold of uh, you can get a hold of Frank at Federalist Pens and tell him that you'd like to order another nib for this pen. You can have a lot of fun checking out different nibs with this pen. That's what I like doing myself. Very interesting pen. Very lovely pen. Put it all back together. I really like this wood grain finish on this pen. That, that makes it really look nice. What do you think about looking at this pen, Mr. Announcer? Oh, I love the wood grain, yes. That isn't was the thing that struck me when you first opened it. Isn't that really nice? That's remarkable. Now, I will get to the dimensions with you in a minute. Let me take out a few of my Conklin babies out of here. Because I do have a few Conklins that I want to share with you. Okay, 
I'll just pull out a few and show you. Here is the Cochrane All American, the Black Raven. Beautiful pen. Gorgeous pen. Love it. And here is the Cochrane All American Blue Lampus. And the name of this pen is the Brownstone. Beautiful pen. Affordable, quality pens, in my opinion. I'm a big fan of Conklin in the story. Now, on my wish list, uh, the new ones that have come out, the Conklin All-American, the Courage Fountain Pens, they're limited edition. They're a little bit more, but well worth the money. Uh, there's a red one, and there's a white one, and there's one more color, I believe, and I don't remember offhand what it is. Uh, and also there's the Conklin All-American Courage Fountain Pen. It's a graphic uh, limited edition. I do like the limited editions. And you can find any of these pens on uh, Federalist Pens. Just give Frank a holler and he'll take care of you. And I think you'll be glad that you, you did. So, we'll set these aside. I don't like scratching my pens. And we'll talk a little bit more about this pen. Right there. Okay. The Walnut Gun Metal. Good name for it. Can you get a good close-up shot to that? Okay. So. All right. The body material of the pen, walnut wood, is not a demonstrator, so you can forget about that. The cap turns in two rotations, one, two, screw on cap. It uses bottle ink or standard international short cartridges like I just showed you that came with the pen in the box. And the fiddling mechanism, again, is a converter or cartridge, so you have your choice. There's some people that prefer cartridges. Cool. The grip material used to make the pen is resin. And again, the pen, uh, the nib sizes, I remind you again, is, or mention it, it's going to be extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub plus flex. The color of the nib, black steel. So, question is, is it postable? Well, let's see. Yes, it is postable. And actually, it feels fine in the hand. Uh, I don't think it looks too big. What do you think? No, it looks pretty decent. And uh, I have small hands, but there's enough girth to this pen that uh, I'm able to hold it well in my hand. The trim is gunmetal. So let's talk about the dimensions of the pen. The diameter, the body diameter of this pen is going to be 0 0.59 inches. The, the diameter of the cap is going to be 0 0.83 inches. The length of this cap, bam, from here to here, about 2.68 inches. The length overall of the pin as you see it here closed is going to be 5.63 inches maybe 64 give or take and for those people who love to post their pins it's going to come in at 642 643 around there inches now let's talk about the weight of the pin some people don't like heavy pins. Some people don't like light pins. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, I'm just one of those guys. I'm not too picky on that department. Uh, the overall body weight, one, uh, let's 41.0 G. So 41 G's would be the weight of the pin. So how much weight is the cap? Well, that's going to come into 12 G's. Okay. And the weight of the body of the pin is going to be 29 point. Zero G's, they're just 29 G's. Well, what is the ink capacity on this pen? Well, about like others, or previous Cochran All-Americans. Uh, it was about, oh, with the converter, about 1.5, 1.4 mils, somewhere in there. And if you're using the cartridge, where they run about 1.5, 1.6 mils on a cartridge, maybe, give or take. So, they are Jovo number six black steel nips. really just a super cool fountain pen. Y you know, uh, the Conklin fountain pen was uh, during the 1930s time of the Depression, Conklin launched a collection that priced their pens more affordably to the general public, so people can afford a pen and they offered a variety of sizes and filling mechanisms and finishes they wanted to satisfy the growing demand the market demanded a good quality writing instrument but it had to be affordable as well so today, this pen pays homage to the classic designs of the vintage Conklin era back in the day. Now, thank goodness Yonfa came into play in 2009 that purchased Conklin Brands and revived it. So, thank you, Yafa, for stepping in and saving this wonderful fountain pen. If not, it would have been lost, gone forever. Now, all the All-American, if you're interested, it's manufactured in Asia, and it's assembled and distributed in the Congo Park, California. So, it's done here in the U.S., and they say it's paid tributes to its roots with the uh, Toledo, Ohio engraving as it's in the barrel. On the nib and barrel as well. So, what's your thoughts of this beautiful, stunning pen? Okay, some other pen comparisons I want to show you. is uh, Here's the Conklin Durograph. It's about the same length. Of course, the All-American has way more girth than the Durograph does, but kind of give you an idea on that length. And let's bring in the one and only Lamy All-Star beautiful fountain pen. And again, they're about, about the same length, but not as nowhere close to the girth as the All-American. Last but not least, the one and only popular Twisby 580. Make sure I'm right, telling you right, yeah. Mm -hmm. That one looks maybe just a tad, tad longer than the All-American. 
and as far as girth wise again hands down Coughlin got it but that just kind of gives you a thin comparison to show you about the length size not so much about the the girth but again you know beautiful fountain pen nice beautiful finish on this wood Coughlin just this knocked this one right out of the ballpark in my opinion next we're going to ink this pen up and we're going to do some writing with the pen and that is really the heart and soul of the pen to see how that nib writes on paper don't you agree with me i'll be right back okay our next step we're going to fill it up so let's get this ready to fill and i will let you join me watching me fill a pen to see how the pen fills up is there any problems filling this pen so we'll see and I think that's going to be enough Sometimes I fill my all the way and sometimes I don't and sometimes I even use less than that and you may wonder why but you know I review pens so uh, I want to get a feel and a taste of a flavor how the pen writes and uh, as soon as it's, uh, it runs out of ink the quicker it does I can wash it out and put another in rotation but then also I may fill it all the way up when I just do a lot of writing because I do I do a, a lot of writing not just with pen pal letters but I do a lot of journaling note taking so now is the time that we're going to test the nib and we're going to put the nib to paper and here we go let me put that up there my chair keeps sliding Very nice nib. We'll just do some swirls here and let's do some wet. This on this nib. Nice and wet. Reverse writing. And you're not going to get much out of reverse writing. downstroke with pressure you get a little bit here's no pressure right and here's with pressure and you get some line variation cross so on the downstroke you can get a bit more variation
fast writing. Well, the nib spoke for itself. Did a great job. Nib smooth, wet. No issues on ink flow. It did everything plus what it needs to do. So, if you're looking for a quality pen at affordable price, price, then you need to give this gentleman a call. Fabulous pen. Again, thank you, Mr. Frank, for sending me this pen. I appreciate it, sir. Take care. You and Nadine and little Dee Dee, give her some sweet kisses from Larry, the pen book guy. Take care. God bless each and every one of you. Wash them hands. A lot of peace and a lot of love coming your way from Fort Worth, Texas. And please don't text and drive. Bye-bye. Bam.